Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Leon Edwards versus Bilal Muhammad number two. Leon Edwards, 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 22 wins, three losses. Oh, he's 22 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He's 4-0-1 in, in his last five fights, which is Bilal Muhammad. Three, almost three and a half months ago, which shows you how many times he doesn't fight a year. It's crazy. You know, he's fought Nate three years ago. And then he fought Usman, and he fought Usman, and then he fought Colby seven months ago. Minus 225 favorite, 32 years old, 6'2", the 74-inch reach, fighting Bilal Muhammad, he's 23-3, on a pretty good win streak, if you, if you really look at it. Nine wins. Obviously, we know how hard that is to do in the UFC. They're very, very good fighters. 36 years old, just turned 36 uh, 12 days ago. Um, but six finishes. Not really a finisher. He has one first round finish. He is a decision king. King. Three finishes in the UFC. 14 and 3. Yeah, 14 3 0 and 1 in the UFC. Beat Gilbert Burns, Brady, Luke, Thompson, Maya. Lima is not great. Lyman Good has big power, but not great. Asado, not great. This is one finish. Curtis Millinder, who was okay when he debuted, and then a fight after that, and then not good after that, got absolutely mollywopped, mollywopped against Jeff Neal. If you haven't seen that fight, go watch that. It's crazy. Destroys Rand Counter. Tim Means was a split. Very weird fight. Thought Tim, Tim won that. Very weird. And then beat Jordan Mean, Randy Brown. This is a Luque destroyed him. Uh, uh, beat Augusto Montano. That was his one of his only finishes in the UFC second finish and then lost to Alan Joban in his debut which is very interesting because uh Joban Joban looked very good early and then kind of gassed out as the fight progressed and uh, Bilal looked great in that third round hurt him a couple times yeah looked great you know in Leon Edwards I don't think spot great guys now again he saw Kamal Usman twice Kobe Covington's whatever. It doesn't even mean anything at this point. But, um, you know, hasn't fought great guys. Like, lost to Claudio Silva by split. Beat Seth Przeski. Beat Powell, Powell Pollock. Okay, and then lost to Usman. Beat Dominic Waters. Albert Turnamov is a very good win because he's a, that was a very good striker. Beat Vicente Luque in a very close fight. Got hurt by Brian Barbarina but did win. Beat per, uh, Peter Sabata in the... Last second of the third round, which is nuts. Beat Cowboy when Cowboy was crap in his pants. Uh, beat Gunnar Nelson by split. Close one there. Beat uh, RDA. And then, like I said, the no contest with Bilal. Beat Nate Diaz four rounds to one. Almost lost that, but dominated the other rounds. Then beat Usman when he was getting his butt whooped. And then beat Usman the second time, which I thought Usman won the second fight. And then Colby Covington, he beat him. Colby looked like absolute dog water in that one. But again, you look at this eye poke. His eye poke is so bad. It's it's crazy how bad this eye poke was. You know, it, it really, really is. Now, I don't think we can really get anything. And then them waving it off here. And his eye was all jacked up, man. It was so bad. Holy moly. But again... With Leon Edwards in, in freaking uh, Blah Muhammad, this is the fight that they've been campaigning for a while now. You know, and now you look at it, strikes landed per minute at 2.75 to 4.55 for Bilal. Accuracy is 53 to 43. Absorbed per minute 2.34 to 3.64 for Muhammad. Uh, defense, or I mean for Leon because he doesn't absorb as many as Bilal. So defense is 54 to 57 for Muhammad. Here's where it's fun though. Takedowns for a fight 1.25 to 1.98. Accuracy is 34 to 35. Takedown defense 70 to 93. Watch out. It should be a parlay of how many times Leon grabs the cage because he's he's gonna grab the cage. 100%. He's gonna grab the cage. Now two inch reach advantage for Leon Edwards with also two uh, three inches in height. Again, I, I really, really like Bilal Muhammad's uh, uh, ability to chain uh, takedowns. 
The problem is, is I don't think he keeps himself at a good range, like 10 finishes for Leon out of 22 fights. Uh, I don't think he um, uh, keeps himself at a good range at all times. Like, I think he's good at closing distance, but then he puts himself back at that distance, if that makes sense. Like, he'll close it and do well, but then he exits out and puts himself right back in there, so then he has to do it again. Instead of closing the distance to where now Leon has to create that distance, if that makes sense. It, it, it's He's doing more damage at the end of the day because he's not making Leon work for that distance because Leon wants to be in kicking range. All of his strikes with his like, stand-up is to set up that high kick. We know that, so does Bilal. So what does Bilal have to do? Go out there, throw his strikes, disguise his takedowns because we know Leon's going to throw, uh, he's going to be looking, he knowing that the law is going to want his takedowns. You got to make Leon miss. You got to make him overthrow and then capitalize on it. I actually like Bilal Muhammad in this because his chain wrestling, because I think he stays safe enough to be able to make Leon make a mistake. And if I think if Leon can make a mistake and then Bilal can swarm him, the problem is, is there's not much finishing ability from Bilal. Unless he comes out super aggressive like we've never seen before. I, I, I just, for five rounds, can Bilal stay safe enough? Even if he's up four rounds and Leon has to pull out another Rocky moment. Can Bilal stay safe enough for five rounds to not get caught with something big and finish? And sat on his butt. Or can he stay safe enough in each round to not get caught and put on his butt and lose those rounds. It's a very, very complicated uh, situation because you have Leon who is a technically a better striker, 100% better than Bilal Muhammad. We know this. Um, but he also, there's not a lot of output. He picks his shots way too much, doesn't let his hands go. Let his hands go. But in this instance, in this fight, that approach might do him better. Because you don't want to have a crazy amount of output with Bilal because you might overthrow. You might put yourself in a bad position. You might, um, uh, you know, throw like a throw a kick, not necessarily where you want it, and Bilal might catch it. You don't really want to be on the bottom with Bilal because he's always going to be continue working. There's no submission threat off the back of Leon. That's 100% accurate. Now, seven months, is that enough time for him he didn't take any damage from the Colby Covington fight because Colby's trash. But Bilal not fighting for over a year now when Gilbert got hurt really bad in their Bilal Muhammad Burns fight. And Bilal still didn't turn up the output, still didn't try to finish up, and still got caught with a big shot with, with uh, Gilbert Burns. That's the thing that worries me, is he's constantly putting himself in bad positions constantly uh, redoing the work that he put in. And like I said, what I'm meaning by that is he'll close the distance. He'll be at the range he needs to be, but then he doesn't keep it and he exits and puts himself back in there. It's like he resets. And when you're resetting, when you're doing all that work, you're just helping the other fighter, especially a guy like Leon who needs the distance to throw his strikes. Now, he's going to pressure Leon. Leon's going to have to circle and pick his shots and try to set Bilal up. But, but, but that's the problem with Bilal. At this point in his career, this is the only chance he's ever going to get. I mean, he's had nine fights in a row, and he should have probably fought Leon a little while ago, obviously, probably before Colby fought him, or Colby and Bilal should have fought, whatever, the, you know. But... I like Leon. I don't think Bilal can stay safe enough uh, in a five-round fight with Edwards. I don't think Edwards is all what he's cracked up to be. Even if he finishes Bilal, he did work against Bilal in the first fight, which Bilal's been campaigning for this fight a long time ago. You watch that uh, uh, Joe Rogan interview he did on his podcast. He said he doesn't think Leon's good. He knows he can beat him. Cool. This is your chance to show it. I think Leon catches him. I think Leon uh, uh, probably... Uh, I don't necessarily know if he will finish him because Bilal is going to be on his A game on this one. He's going to have to put him out cold, I think, to finish him. But I think Leon wins this matchup. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you think. Subscribe. Let me know. I've already said that twice now. But as always, peace.